Hi, my name is Patty Petrie Vies. I'm the Distance Learning Program Director at the Center for Puppetry Arts. Uh, that is the organization I am representing, and uh, we have a fantastic program that uh, that goes on across the United States, North America in general, and into other uh, other uh, countries uh, as well. Uh, we're in 43 states and three countries to be specific, and we're, what we're doing is we are creating a dynamic virtual interactive classroom using the arts to teach traditional classroom subjects such, such as social studies, language arts, math, sciences. Uh, we're going into rural and underserved areas where arts education has continuously been, been cut. Um, children may live seven hours away from an art museum. Uh, they really have no access to the arts. We're also going into pediatric facilities, into after school programs in the boroughs of New York, uh, other, uh, other areas that really need this type of, of uh, arts work going on. And what's key to it is that it is interactive, it's live, we can connect simultaneously with uh, multiple states at a time so that students can engage from different regions. Um, they are uh, creating a hands-on art uh, project as they are working with us and learning the curriculum uh, behind it. For example, in a, a program we offer on spiders, we introduce them to uh, the type of puppet they're going to be making that day to begin a program. They would be introduced to a marionette from India. They would uh, learn a little bit about the diversity of puppetry and that it's a global art form. And when we would go into our program on spiders, building a spider marionette, tying back to the marionette they saw earlier. And as they're building the puppet, they're learning the life science behind it so that when they finish, each student has a completed operational marionette that we show them how to manipulate and operate, and they've learned all the science behind it. And with professional studies, we have two to be exact, one from the University of Albany at SUNY and one from the Georgia Board of Education. We have uh, proven uh, that learning retention is increased with this hands-on activity through this wonderful interactive technology. This is fantastic. So tell me a bit about being part of the Tech Awards this week and what that's been like. It's, it's been very humbling. It's, it's an incredible experience to see uh, what some of the, the other work that the other laureates are doing. Certainly, um, it's, it's a, a world-changing you know, event that's going on here, I truly believe. And, um, it's, it's been uh, very good in so far as opening us up to, uh, to potential funders and people interested who didn't know that these programs existed, that you know, they were even going on, and uh, the technological developments uh, can be as simple to advance but we're, you know, what's really astounding is really the simple technologies that are making a difference, and uh, it seems to be making the most impact globally. So it's it's been a fantastic experience. It's so good to hear. And how were you inspired to start doing this work? Um, I began this work in 1997. Our executive director, uh, Vincent Anthony, um, allowed me to take this program and, and, and begin it and develop it as it is today. My background is in um, in arts education and nonprofit education, art history. I've worked in museums in the art departments. Um, taught in the schools in Japan for a while, returned to the States and uh, been at the Center for Puppetry Arts for 13 years. And when I founded this program in, in 97, um, the whole idea is really with me thinking about how I learned things in the classroom and what teachers stood out to me and what made a difference. And it was always, the, of course, the arts component. And with me working at the Center for Puppetry Arts, that was the, the whole foundation of this program. So I worked with teachers initially, sat down with them, talked to them and said, what do you need help with? How can we help you? And uh, developed curriculum from there. And over the years, um, the, pr the program grew exponentially. And we made modifications. We improved them based on teacher feedback to create a model that we have today that's received three Teachers' Choice Awards for Best Content yeah. Provider in Fine Arts, um, the CILC Pinnacle Award, which is a, a, an International Content Provider Award, um, an Educational Video Conferencing, and of course this year, the most prestigious, um, you know, the